Today we are lucky enough to have two local STEM executives who have just completed a book entitled Remember Who You Are. When we were starting in our careers, we were often the only female, and maybe there was an occasional second female and then a third, but it was the, well, you gotta go, you gotta claw for that one yeah. female spot. And so it just became all too easy to be competitive with other women. And, um, you know, I, I get asked a lot about what in my career do I regret? Uh, and I don't have many regrets, but I, the one that I have is that I regret that I didn't build confidence sooner. And you may think that I look like this really confident person, but you know, I had to work hard to get to that point. Um, and there were just things that I did along the way that helped build that confidence. And um, you know, when, when you're not confident, you have ways that you behave. And so, you know, for me, I, I got a little defensive and a little competitive, uh, you know, because and it was just a lack of confidence that I had. But in the book, we share, you know, sort of three quick things. And one is uh, risk taking. Uh, if you if you take some risk, you will feel more confident. You know, sometimes you might fail, but a lot of times you're going to not fail, and you'll help build your confidence from that. I think too often, and it can get into the comparison game, where it can get into the, well, I just wish I could do that a little better. Well, maybe, you know, we all have different skills and gifts and talents. Why don't we hone what we're pretty good at until we get it to a point of excellence instead of trying to work on things that, we probably are never going to master. Mm. So, but it's being true to the way we're wired. And it's, you know, that's how we find our purpose, what we're passionate about, what we love doing. It's being true to ourselves. It's what makes the world go around. That's mm -hmm. why we all, you know, fit together with our different skills yeah. and talents. And I think that, uh, you know, when two or more people are collaborating, you got to put things together, right? So when you put them together, there's either a gap or an overlap. And so you've got to figure out when you're working with other women where that gap is. We were not fortunate to have had women mentors when we were coming up, and we think that it's important. We developed over the years as our friendship was forming. It really started more as a co-mentoring relationship with each other that then grew into a deeper level of friendship. But we all have stories to tell. If we could pass around the mic, every one of us could learn something from every single other person sitting in this room. None of us are Mary Poppins. We say that in the book. Um, uh, you know, she, we think she's perfect and she can do everything, but she was, she was very magical. Uh, and so we're not perfect. Own it and focus on what you are good at. Well, go for it now, Lisa. Indubitably Googleable. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Nailed